In the mid-1950s, the US Navy unveiled the USS Nautilus, which was the world's first nuclear-powered submarine. Just about a handful of years later, in 1959, the then-Soviet Union unveiled the ship behind us. It's known as Lenin. Lenin was the world's first nuclear-powered ship, and this is a ship that belongs to a class known as nuclear-powered icebreakers. They're very strong, they're very powerful, and they're reinforced in such a way that they can cut through the Arctic ice and cut through the icy ocean to clear a path for shipping even by normal vessels. Let's remember that now Russia possesses eight nuclear icebreakers, all of which are far more powerful, bigger and stronger than Lenin. And Russia has the world's only fleet of nuclear icebreaker vessels. And Russia is not stopping at this. Russia is building four more of them so that by the end of this decade, they can have a dozen nuclear powered icebreakers so that they can conduct shipping at will through the icy Arctic Ocean.